Hey everybody, it's Jason. So I'm here with my weekly scent recap number 14 for the week of June 13th through the 19th. So we'll go ahead and get started with last Wednesday. And I was burning lemon vanilla. And on cold, this one smells a lot like lemongrass with like a little bit of vanilla. But warmed up, what I get is like a glazed frosting with lemon in it. It is awesome. So it's not like buttercream frosting like you'd put on a cake, but it's more like that kind of glazed sugary frosting that you maybe put on like a cookie. It's like that with lemon. It's so good. On Thursday, I did coconut. And this one doesn't really smell like true coconut to me. It smells more like coconut, like tanning oil or suntan lotion or stuff like that. So it's definitely like a tropical scent and... It's just a good, like, straight coconut like you'd find in, like, a tanning oil or something like that. So if you like that kind of scent, then that's right up your alley. On Friday, I did lavender and basil. And this smells, it's super strong, first of all. But this smells like Dawn dishwashing detergent or, like, Dial soap. It's, like, very clean. I don't really get lavender or basil out of it. Um, it just smells like a really strong soap. So if you like fresh and clean scents, then this is definitely for you. Or if you like super strong scents, that's another one that's super strong. On Saturday, I did Moulin Rouge. This is one of the black labels. And this one, I mostly get a sweet cake note in it. But then it also has a little bit of woody notes and a little bit of spice. So it's like got a tiny hit of cinnamon, but mostly it's this sweet cake. The description on the website for Moulin Rouge is a mile long. It's got a ton of different notes in it, so it's more complex than just like a cake. Like it's got other things like like citrus notes and some a little bit of floral maybe even. So I mean it's super complex, so yeah, mostly I get like kind of a cake, so I would definitely put this one probably in the bakery category. On Sunday, I did Earthquake. This is another black label. And this one smells mostly like nutmeg and allspice. It's got a hint of maybe like a green note, which I think it says it has cinnamon leaf or something like that in it. So, yeah, but mostly it's just nutmeg and allspice. And it does, it, this is not a bakery scent. I would definitely put this in the earthy category. Um, it smells more like kitchen spices cooking on, like, the stove rather than something baking. So either, you know, sniffing, like, a like a jar of nutmeg or, um, like, putting something on the stove top and cooking it with these spices in it. That's more like what Earthquake is. On Monday, I did carrot cake. And when I first got this, I didn't really get carrot cake. It smelled like a spice cake. But now that it's cured for a couple of months... It's dead on for a carrot cake, and that carrot note is super strong in it. And it's got those spices that kind of just help to support the carrot cake. It is missing the cream cheese frosting. I don't really get that in there, but it smells just like the cake part of a carrot cake. So it's really good. I, if it if you did like a creative scent with this and cream cheese frosting, I'm sure it would be so good. And then finally, uh, yesterday, I did raspberry banana guava. And on cold, this smells like a raspberry mamba like chewy candy if you ever had those that's exa exactly what it smells like warmed up it didn't really smell like that to me it was still sweet and still kind of candy-ish but i didn't really get any raspberry it was mostly just the banana and the guava so it's kind of strange because raspberry is a pretty strong note in most candles but this one not so much so yeah it was still sweet kind of candy-ish but it didn't really smell like the raspberry mambas anymore so yep and then as far as mystery tarts go, I burned three. Uh, I had Spellbound, which was really good, and Pink Sugar. And then the third one, I wasn't sure exactly what it was. It was something with orange that kind of almost smelled like orange ice cream or something. So I'm thinking that it was probably Dreamsicle or something like that. Um, it wasn't orange vanilla because I've had that. But um, anyway, I'm thinking it was probably Dreamsicle. So that was my weekly set recap number 14. Uh, I hope you all are having a good day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.